Hello everyone, I'm going to one kid bring us a brand new Roblox Pokemon Pokemon video into this episode of English. Do you know what? I don't actually know what I'm going to do. But, I mean, first of all, sorry for hardly ever uploading. That's, the, I mean, the main reason is because they tried to record not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six but seven videos before this and they all got failed because of loss of files so now i'm a lot more ahead on po po roblox pokemon brick bronze because i had all auto save on so i'm just gonna turn all save off now because i actually can remember to save it, it'd be really bad if i don't but now uh, I mean, first of all, we're under a sewer right now, and Tess is going with us, and she battles with us, and, uh, here's our Pokemon, and there's, an, there's two new updates, the first one is in the PC, you can rename your box, change the wallpaper like this, I just chose Mega Charizards because why not? And can release all the Pokemon in that specific box. So yeah. Then I'm not gonna do that because they have some of my first catches in there. Okay, so now. I think there's an item here. Yeah, if you open, you can open, you can click to open the third closet. And if you go in, in the third closet. So oh my god, I'm never gonna do this. And yeah, I did get a soaring badge, as you can see. The badge from Anthean City. Okay, Ooh, now there's supposed to be a Pokeball loot right there, but I've got it already. I mean, just go around that way, and then inside the Pokeball loot, you get a W's disc. Now, I'm pretty sure that's how you get Porygon Z. Now, to get Porygon 2, you need an upgrade disc, or whatever that thing's called. But that's, I think that's how you get Porygon Z. I'm probably wrong because I said it, because I'm the one who said this statement. And early on, early, I mean earlier on, you'll get a black sludge, which boosts, I mean, heals poison type every turn, but damages every other type every turn, if, if they're holding the item. Okay, and yes, I am in a sewer, and Jake is captured by Team Eclipse, so go freaking figure. Alright. Now just let me add it. Just discuss the sewer. And they did add something else. Not only did they add the features on the PC, they added hoverboards. Now I'm not gonna show you guys about hoverboards in this video yet, um, because we've got some team clips things to deal with. My mom and dads are here. I mean, they're not like here or here. They're working at the restaurant, but you know, still. <sighs> All right, Jake. Bad Jake. All right. Their boss is the professor. Wait, what? 
so Professor Cypress is actually the Team Eclipse boss. Uh, now, I know Professor Cypress, I don't know how he got, became a professor. I mean, he loves Pokemon apparently. But he's in Team Eclipse, so I don't think I could trust him. Just for a second there. Um. Now, why would he give me a Pokemon when he knows that I'm the son of those two uh, archaeologists, which is my parents in this game, and that he wanted to t take my parents, and he must have known that I'd come to get them, so why? Like, what place, huh? And they have been talking about Hoopa lately, like in Anthean City. And I'm really interested in that because Hoopa is one of my favorite Pokemon, and it's really a, it's a really cool Pokemon that can create portals. And it's actually the mascot of the game, the game. Of course not. Or, uh, space and time. Now, these three words remind me of something. You know, just, just something. Space and time, alright. Explosives and that guy seems like he's really rich. Okay, so you guys are really nice, okay? Oh my god, these people. And another thing is, how did the creator think of this crap? Like, it's, it's really interesting. So, uh. <sighs> wait. Yeah? Uh, uh, wait, me versus Professor Cypress? A helper kidding me, um, yeah. Wait, wait, isn't that the absolute from un un like two episodes ago? So it doesn't have a trainer, so be my Pokemon. Wait, so that Absol has a Mega Stone and I could get a Mega Absol? And this will be the first Mega Pokemon I have, so it'll be really awesome. Yeah, we got a Keystone from Tess. Um, I'm gonna send Scyther back, because, I mean, first of all, it's the only girl, and I kind of feel bad, so you're gonna go to the PC, and it's the lowest level, and we're battling Professor Cypress here, so yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. Alright, Professor Cypress.
No, what you got? Okay, a Venusaur. Interesting. Okay, Absol. Okay, yeah, so it just. Oh, Absol's a girl. Alright, I'm um, sorry. I mean, but first of all, he's got six Pokemon. And the first one's a fucking Venusaur. And, and it's level 50, so that really scares me. <sighs> but you know what? Absol's got a really good moveset. And first, it has detect for, um, for reasons. <laughs> I don't know. Just, why? But it also has Psycho Cut, Megacorm, and Night Slash, which are really strong moves. Trust me, they are. Now, Absol's a pure dark type. So... So, yeah, uh, let's see. Okay, these... These are really good moves. Name Absol. For a while, you're really, you're really strong for a wild Absol. Alright. So, first of all, of course, when you Mega Evolve, in Venusaur's uh, poison grass types, so Megahorn and Psycho Cut would be super effective. Now Megahorn might miss, but it has a much higher um, power, base power. So then I'm gonna take the risk, and that Mega animation looks super sick. And plus, it just gained wings. So wait, Sleep Powder. Oh my god! Absol! Great job, man! Wow, that ability just saved my damn life! Now, now I'm gonna use Cycle Cut because it's 100% accuracy, and there we go, it killed! Because Psychic is super effective against poison, apparently. And now it's gonna use a Feraligator. Which, of course, we need our Ampharos for. I mean, that's why, you ha that's why we have it. And, and another thing is that I'm really, really, like, tempted to switch out, switch out to Yogi for him. For it to get like the XP because it'll get a lot, <laughs> trust me. From these little 50 Pokemons, yeah. It's, ouch! Holy heck, that thing hits hard, especially from the especially because it got a screech off at the beginning. Yes, and yes, I will switch. Yay, the Grand Ninja. Now, that thing might have. I mean, it will have a fighting type move. So, if Skull doesn't kill, we'll be in big trouble. So, let's just hope that it does. Oh my god! Thunder Punch. Why does it have freaking Thunder Punch? And it's a crit hit. Our Grand Ninja fainted. Great! What? Tal Talonflame's probably the, the fastest member of our team. And and just to say, I give Talonflame learned Flame Charge, and I give the, the TM Aerial Ace from uh, the the gym. You get that from the gym. It's a really good move. Yeah, so yeah. It's just totally use it on your flying type Pokemon. Plus, it's physical, so it's better for Talonflame. You know what? I'm not gonna actually switch. So yeah, let's do this. Now, this is a perfect test for our new aerial ace attack because I'm pretty sure Totero is really tanky. <laughs> you know what? Just keep on using Earthquake. I'm fine with that though. Because I got them flying types. Wood hammer. Oh. T got damaged by recoil. That's a plus. 
Still, I'm doing no freaking damage to this sort of terror. Earthquake. Do, do not <laughs> this guy doesn't learn. Yeah, I, I'm gonna use flame charge just just for the walls. Yeah. And our speed rises. Because flame charge rises your speed. I mean, it's really like extremely fast because it outspeeds Pokemon that's 10 levels higher. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't say that's not fast. Why you would say that's not fast. I mean, no, nah, Samurai. I'm just gonna try to get one discharge in. Hopefully. Nah, I don't think so. Yep, I mean, I'd, I'd be really surprised if he somehow survived that ice beam. Now, I think Samurai's just a pure water type. If not, then crap. I hope it says like Mega Absolute type. Wait, it does? Mega Absolute is still pure dark. Alright. Pure darkness that I'm gonna use. Night Slash for the stab. Let's try it. Okay, crit hit. Oh, Dragon Tail. Now we're gonna be forced out. And our Talon Flame's gonna come out. This is not good. I'm gonna risk it and use Aerial Ace. If this doesn't kill, oh my god, that did nothing. You know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with him using Dig. I'm totally up with that. I'm just gonna use Roost to heal up. You know, just you, you, use Dig all you want. What? How did Dig hit? Where's the launch is anymore? Oh god. Um, in that case, I'm gonna switch, switch to Water Slug. So you can, so Water Slug will take the damage because it's really tanky. Okay. Damn, Water Slug is an absolute tank. Absolute beast. Alright, Ice Beam. This shouldn't do too much. Okay, now Body Slam. This should not kill. But you don't do any damage at all. Oh no. This is a bad sign. Uh, I mean, damn, Professor Cypress is really strong. This is probably the strongest trainer we've fought. I mean, yeah, the gym leader has all level 46 Pokemon, but he's at level 50s. I mean, that's kind of high, don't you think? Do you know I'm actually not going to switch? I'm going to use Blood Bomb. Let's hope that it doesn't kill us. I mean, it's four times not very effective. Nope. We, won't, we only had that little bit of help. Okay, I'm gonna switch up. Switch back to Absol. And let's use Night Slash because it's part psychic type. Oh no! We might be in some trouble here, guys. Oh! Crap. Yugi can do this, right? You could do it. Double team! Oh god, I don't want to watch. The first battle. Wait. Oh my god. How did we survive that hit? Now, if somehow. Never mind. I was gonna say, if somehow our double team worked. Oh my god.
That's actually so embarrassing. Before when I tried to make this video, it worked out perfectly. Am I all the way back at Anthony City now? How hey, does this even logic? Oh, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm not gonna save because <laughs> that was really embarrassing. So, yeah, anywho, that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe if you're new and Peace out. All right.